Yo guys, what's up, Super here? Today I got another quest guide for you, this time on the quest Swan Song. Pretty awesome quest to get done, because it lets you fish Monkfish when you complete it, which is pretty sweet. So the requirements, you have to have at least 100 quest points, 66, uh, 66 magic, got 62 cooking, sorry, that was a weird sound. 62 fishing, 45 smithing, 42 fire making, 40 crafting. Level 23 rune crafting might be an advantage, but you don't need to have it, unless you want to craft your own runes, because let's say you're like on an Iron Man account. And you have to be able to fight a level 170 monster, as well as you're going to have to fight like 8 level 70 sea trolls. Uh, but protect from melee should solve that problem. If, so 43 prayer is very useful. Item wise, uh, you're going to need 50 coins to complete the quest. Or you can use a ring of Kairos, something like Kairos, Charos, Kairos. You know, you have, the thing that like convinces people you can do stuff for free. I'm just going to bring 5,000 coins with me in case I need a lot more on the journey. But, or on the quest, but 50 coins I believe is what you need, but I'd bring a little bit more just to be safe. Do you, uh, at the beginning, you're going to need 10 mist runes, 10 lava runes, 5 blood runes, and throughout the quest, you're going to need a tinder box, 5 iron bars, a pot, a pot lid, logs, uh, just regular logs, a hammer, 7 bones, uh, a brown apron. You're also going to need decent food. Lobsters are better, I'd recommend, uh, and obviously gear to fight. The sea trolls that are like level 70, and then the sea monster, which is level 170. Uh, I'd just bring a ring of life just in case. Because if you die up here, that'd be pretty sucky. Uh, I'm bringing DDS. And uh, yeah, to get up here is quite annoying. I'm going to show you guys where I started. So, anyways, uh, you guys have to be up here at this Piscatoris fishing colony. Sorry, the map quality is a bit bad, but uh, that's, where is it, north uh, west of the Tree Gnome Stronghold, all the way up here. Now, a quick way to get here is just to use the, if you have the ability to use the fairy rings, you can just. Use the code AKQ, and you're going to end up right here, and you just run northeast up to this quest symbol. If not, you're going to have to uh, go to this boat area right here. I believe you can take a boat all the way up to here as well. And uh, so, yeah, if, if you're still confused, there's there's guides on how to get up here, so I'd recommend just doing that. So, anyways, let's get started with the quest. To start off the quest, you guys just want to speak to Herman. He's right here. It is a lovely day. What's the rush? They're attacking the fishing colony. Do you need any help? <laughs> I'm a brave I'm a brave adventurer. Yeah, hell yeah. Now we can do it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, I know him. Uh, so you guys can watch a cutscene at this part. Uh, it just shows all the different things the Wazo man has killed, I think. It's nothing important. I'm just going to skip it for the sake of the guide. So uh, I haven't time for cutscenes. No, please stop asking. So, Alright, so now make sure you guys have started the quest because you don't want to leave this place realizing you have started it. And just make sure it says he wants me to go fetch the Wazo man of Draenor. So at this point, go ahead and use your telly or whatever to get to Draenor. And you guys know the Wesel man is right above the bank. And he's going to want uh, mist runes, lava runes, and blood runes. So just go ahead and talk to him. Dun, dun, dun. Skip through this or read it if you want to. And <coughs> wait for it. There's what he needs. <laughs> So now you guys are going to have a bit more inventory space. So what you can do at this point is go ahead and move this stuff up. Now you're going to need your iron bars and your hammer here. But make sure you, you just have what I have in my inventory. If you're a lower level, which you probably shouldn't be. Um, I mean, they really aren't that hard. But I'd recommend, I'll just bring one prayer potion. Oops, I don't know this though. I'm supposed to make that a full one. And I'll bring shards with me. So that's all I'm going to have. I have a quick telly just in case I somehow I'm almost dead. And at this point, you got to go back up to the Piscatoris fishing colony where you guys started the quest. So to get back up there, do whatever you did the first time, and I'll meet you guys there. All right, so we're running up there. And now, instead of Herman, you're going to see the wise old man. So go ahead and talk to him. He feels invigorated. Say you're ready to fight. And this is where you have to fight the trolls. Now you're automatically going to go down the tunnel. I think in here, you're going to be met with the sea trolls, maybe? Yes. Stretching that back, yo. Something's coming. My dick. 
Oh my god. Look who it is, guys. Some sea trolls. So now you're just going to have to defeat these sea trolls. Um, I'm just going to protect from melee. Just because they can hit. They don't hit that hard, but they hit. And uh, it's pretty hard to prayer flick since they all hit at different times. But uh, you should kill them pretty easily. Mainly because you should be a decently high level if you're doing this quest. Or you don't, I mean, you can do it. I, I believe peers can do it. But it's not that common on peers. But I may be wrong. But... Really, you can just AFK these, and uh, the prayer pot's gonna help. There we go. I think that should be all of them. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven trolls. And once we finish, let's talk to the wise old man. And then we can go ahead and come in here. You guys will now be in Piscatoris for the first time. Who's going to tell Herman I'm here? So, Herman. Is that Herman? That's Franklin. Let's look for Herman. Is that Herman? That's Arnold. Is that Herman? There's Herman. So, Herman is in the most eastern house of the colony. All right, let's, let's just run around this way when there's an open door. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman. Yep. <laughs> All right, so he's going to tell us, or he's going to tell me or you guys that he needs some privacy or whatever. So uh, make sure you guys have this up on your quest guide. And at this point, you guys, I believe, have to go about fixing some stuff around the colony. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and help or Franklin, who was at the start where you guys when you guys walked in. So go ahead and talk to him. He said he wanted to handle something. He's gonna need some help smithing some stuff, so fixing these walls around the edge. I don't know if you can see any, but um, he needs me to fix the uh oh, there's my team speed. He needs me to fix um, the holes in the wall with iron sheeting. But to do this you guys need to first fix the metal press. So to do this, let's see if I if I remember how to do this. So we have to make sure you guys go to the furnace room, which is right above him. And you guys have to use your log on the metal press, which should just be this right here. Up oh, other end. There we go. Now, I think you just use your tinderbox on it. All right, so it's not hot enough to use the iron. Let's see if we just can use our iron bars on, iron bars, iron bars on this. Sweet, so you get 20 smithing XP. At this point, you just use all of them on the metal press. Can I spam it out maybe? Look at this spam. Pro XP. Now you guys just gotta go fix the broken sections of the wall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scout out where they are. You can just run along the edge. I believe they're at random spots. Not necessarily for everybody, but you just gotta I think they're more towards where the ocean is, because that's where the here we go. So where it says the broken wall. Go ahead and just use an iron sheet on it. That section of the wall is now fixed. Now, so is this. So is this. So is this. So they're all, they're all next to each other. And then so is this. Sweet. And uh, to finish, just go talk to our man Frank. Or Franklin. Hey, it's Franklin. Staying there like a bitch. I finished, man. Now we need to go talk to Arnold. So, I guess a fun little fact is if you guys have any iron sheets you want to get rid of, Franklin will buy them. So, ever in the future you have some iron sheets for some reason, our man Franklin's going to buy them off you. Arnold is the bank. He's a really sweet guy because you can just chill here and bank and trade and do all that jazz. But first, we got to talk to him. Uh, and we are going to see what he needs. He wants me to catch some, catch some fish. You go catch five fresh monkfish from the sea in the in the northwest corner. If you bring stinking old monkfish, I don't know about it. I don't know not take them. Alright, why is this guy speaking with his five? Oh, I guess he's in four. There it is. Net fishing spot. 
And we caught a monkfish. And uh, now we, I think you said we need to get five of them, right? So five fresh monkfish. Sea trolls will attack you during this. So work out for that. But one, two, three, four, five. All right, we have enough, just enough space. Perfect. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward me catching these because it's not gonna be that interesting. And I guess, oh, look at that, sea troll attacked me. So I think these only these only attack you single combat, so you can prayer flick if you want. And, uh, yeah, so I will get back to you guys once I have five fresh monkfish. And remember, if you get an old monkfish, then he will obviously be pissed off and you know act like he's on his period and you will not accept the fish. So make sure you have fresh monkfish, not old monkfish. Quick note is that you have to cook these monkfish, remember, uh, after you catch them, and there's a chance you could burn them depending on your cooking level. So you may have to come back and catch more until you have five fresh or five cooked monkfish. So really depends. All right, so now we have five. We're gonna try our luck cooking them and hope that we don't burn them. Uh, level 90 is the level where you don't stop burning monkfish, but that's with cooking gauntlets on on a range. So we're 20 levels below that on this one account. So. We're gonna go ahead and just use the fresh monkfish. I guarantee you we're gonna burn at least five. <laughs> Let's see. All right, successful. Successful. Six oh my God, no way. No way. Is this? Jack X. Moment of truth. Woo! All right, head back to Arnold. Okay, let's talk to our friend Arnold. Awesome. And make sure on your quest guide, it says, now I'm finished helping Franklin and Arnold. I should see if Herman wants me to do anything else. He probably does. And now you guys are coming to the final few steps of the quest. Hardest part coming up, obviously being the boss. We first talk to Herman. <laughs> we need something else. What's the problem? We need an army. <laughs> Go to your quest thing and says, uh, make sure it says the same as this. We guys gotta, we gotta talk to Wizard from Scone. In the, uh, in the Wizards Guild, in Yanil is where you guys need to go first. An easy way to get there is to go to your mini games tab, go to the Nightmare Zone, and click teleport. And just use teleport. And that'll bring you right above you now. So that's an easy way to get there. I'm sure you guys, the, almost everybody here is doing the quest has been in Nightmare Zone, so. It's just a home telly that'll bring you there. And when you are there, go ahead and run south. We just got our man, AC Pat Yee, Patchy. Chilling over there, but yeah. Anyways, you guys need to go here. Go ahead and head inside. Ooh, and now we gotta find Wizard from Scone. Alright, and let's head to the basement. And then here should be Wizard from Scone with all these zombies. Ask him for help. Lovely text. I'll see what the necromancer needs me to, to do. He's south of Fali. Okay, so from here, check your quest guide. And make sure it has what mine says. Just say he said I should ask uh, Malignius Mortifier for some help who's walking south of Fali. So I'm just going to use the Drenner Village Glory Teleport. There's other ways to get there. But uh, I'm just going to fast forward me running to where he is. It's just easier here. And their little weird Illuminati shit over here. There's Malignius. Put the black robes on. I don't know why I ran right there. <coughs> Sorry. And let's talk to him. Uh, I 
need help with saving the fishing colony. I help. Ha 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 ha. He needs seven bones. Oh, look, I have some here. If you don't have them, you just go kill goblins, which are near here. What do you have in mind? Check your quest guide. Melvinus needs something to put bone seeds in so I can carry them to the colony. He wants me to ask the master crafter in the or master crafters in the crafting guild for some advice. Apparently, one of them sure to help. Uh, at this point, you guys are gonna need your pot lid, uh, your pot, and your brown apron, and the crafting guild should just be west of here. Let's see. Yep, should just be west. So just follow this path. Actually, should lead you right to the crafting guild. Then you just cut across right here. There's the crafting guild mine. Much cool. Such prospect rocks. Go ahead and in here. And, oh, whoops. Put on, your, put on your apron. Talk to the master crafter who's up in this northeast corner. Yeah. Whoa, dude. And he, he, just, told, he just told me to chill out. Alright, that is some crazy stuff. So I've got the container so I can ask Melanie to fill with bone seeds. Now, before you guys head back to him. You guys are going to want to get some gear, or not, so, not so some gear, well if you want to get some gear you can, but you're going to have to be fighting the boss now, and the army and stuff, so if I were you, I'd go ahead and go just go to the Fally Bank, that's right above uh, the Crafters Guild, just go to Fally, go to one of the banks, get some um, some food, uh, get a telly out just in case, I believe you can telly out, but just to be safe, get some food, uh, get some potions if you want, get some prayer potions for for the battle itself and yeah so basically what i'm saying is gear the fuck up for the boss and i'll meet you guys at back at uh malignius who wants the bone or pot you know because who doesn't want some pot all right so this is what my inventory looks like you can pretty much bank everything but the pot and pot lid i still have the G gp on me i don't think you need it though got my dds got some prayer potions super attack and strength since that's what i'm using and uh, sharks obviously so see you guys there at the malignius dude all right we're here let's talk to the dude spoken the master crafter awesome sweet so now we have the lid and the bone seeds ha 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 shut up enter the hole So now we gotta go inside the hole, go to Herman, give the bone seeds to Herman. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk to Herman. <laughs> I feel ready. I'm ready. Sweet. Now we got the war. So, um, you're now going to be fighting against some trolls, some stuff, you know. I'll just, uh, I'll keep this battle on for you guys. First, we just got a berate of, of sea trolls. So go ahead and kill them. Well, actually, just kidding. You won't have to kill them. These skeleton mages will just FS up, yo. Check that out. We just got three hit. These guys should have magic protect on, man. No magic resist. Get yourself a spirit massage. Dude. And one hit. Bop. Awesome. They're all trolls are all dead. Or are they? I believe the general is coming up next. There he is. Check out. He's so cute. Look at him, he's got stripes on and everything. Leave this to me. Wow, that's not really fair, is it? Oh! Oh, get juked! Oh! Oh! Ho! Oh. That was a ward hop right there. Good job. Nice. Ooh, 40s. Yo. This isn't even fair. What was that? 59! 
Sweet, so you don't have to do anything again. You're just standing there just like, okay, why am I here? Just kidding, now you gotta fight the level 140. Who's like a Kraken. Up oh, and before death. I guess it's like a 300 or some shit. Two, nice full health. We gotta fight this now. Let's hope that we can do it. So now he's got, uh, gonna, gonna go ahead and attack you. You're gonna attack him back. And, uh, yeah. Hope you do well. This will probably take a very long time. Um, it's really hard to kill him, you guys know. Uh, I just, I really doubt any of you guys will ever do this boss battle. It's probably one of the hardest in the game. Just kidding. It's really simple, actually. Just keep a, keep an eye on your prayer, keep an eye on your health. Should be good. Uh, and yeah, this is a really intense boss battle. Hmm. Ah, still hungry. Oh, we did it. <laughs> wow, that was great. Oh, I think I just I clicked away from my prayer. Ah, oh, look at that. We're back into the regular place. Let's go talk to our man, Herman. I swear to God, Herman. Yay. Of course. <laughs> Can I have your hat? <laughs> Look at that. 25,000. Oh, my God. So much text. Look at that. All this XP and, uh, and stuff. Anyways, quest complete. Congratulations, guys. You just completed a pretty sweet quest with sweet rewards. Two quest points, 15k magic XP, 10k prayer XP, 10k fishing XP, 25k gold, access to the fishing colony. Nice quest to get done. Really amazing place to get some fishing XP. And uh, hopefully you guys maybe got a level or two from this. Anyways, guys, leave a like as this is a pretty awesome quest. And I'll see you guys for the next quest, guys. Peace.